Chikar Vault Learning Series point of view 11th topic is Vault Audio Device so this is not a part of Vault Certified Associate curriculum but however it's important so this is a Hashikar certification homepage and associate point of view we have completed uh, all the sessions so nothing is left right but Vault Audio Device so if you go to the Vault Project dot Ivo slash docs right uh, so there is audio device this is one of the sections so whereas all the sections we have gone through except this plugins etc it's an advanced topic let's try to understand what is vault audio device so in the previous sessions we have understood that this is about the vault very very high level architecture and it's right so this is the audit this is a today's topic right and what exactly this what it does is whatever you do with this authentication and by using policies and whatever you read the secrets that will be logged into the audit device as simple as that so and you can use the various audit endpoints so and as per the documentation if you dig more into the vault architecture these are the three components one is audit device second one is a audit broker so nobody will ask in the exam but for the knowledge purpose vault has a internally there is a broker that broker will take care so need not to dig much into that vault audit device so we know in general what is audit means with respect to vault when you enable a vault audit it will log request and response yes these two must be noted down that request and response will be logged always second is request and response of what any authentication interaction including errors let's say i logged into the vault with the wrong token and that wrong token request and definitely my response will be 503 error unauthenticated 401 whatever the error right so though that request and that response everything will be logged including errors if it is successful also it will log and you can attach a multiple audit device yes i have a one vault server i wanted to log it to one file i wanted to log it to say elastic search yes you can do but the thing is at least one vault audit should be success otherwise vault will give the fail means you attach a two audit device and then two both are failing to log then vault will consider as a, there is no logging that's what the at least one success and if you have a audit logs as in the form of files right you can query right so and you can if you have a multiple audit devices right one server two different audits you can do the aggregation union etc same like the whatever we used to do in the sql that's a as simple of audit now audit log in which format this vault audit so every line is in the form of a json so vault logs all all are in the form of a json so that's it as simple to note down and second is every json will have a request and response that's it vault audit means request and response and in case of say i retrieved the one username and password that's a sensitive information so that will be hashed by using hmac sha256 there is a one encryption so with that it will persist into the logs so that if somebody looks at the logs nobody will understand what is my username and password but it will so we will see in the demo now vault audit device life cycle so life cycle point of view what we can do with the vault audit right so one is vault audit enable vault audit disable vault audit list as simple as that only three commands simple enable disable and list list means it will list the what are the enabled audit devices sample audit log file so this is a one log file which is split into the two images which is taken from the vault documentation so which is in the form of a json and one is here you see the request and request and the response so so everything is in the form of a request and response so here type equal to request type equal to response so as simple as that right so yeah that's it this is a request this is a response now let's move further vault audit device types so vault supports one is a file type which is something something dot txt something dot log file some you can write into the some log file second one is syslog 
third one is a socket so you may be wondering what is a syslog syslog is basically a message logging standard so any device or application can send the data into the system so this is log as per the syslog format it will have a levels level 0 to level 5 level 6 so info warn something like that error something like that and syslog you can keep a one syslog server and pump the syslogs into this particular server where this syslog server will receive store interpret parse it something like it will do the processing and it runs on a 514 port and 601 on a udp that's a in short about the syslog and socket socket is a networking concept in the networking point of view a communication connection endpoint is a one socket which could be stream socket datagram stream means there are many types http es ssh ftp datagram means like a dns voip there are many so means like a vault audit point of view these are the three different types you can use as an audit you may be wondering where is the elastic search and where is this will comes into the picture which is in the form of a socket as simple as that so let's look at the each so now file audit device file audit device point of view let's say this is a one of the system and there is a where world server is configured and i have mounted one efs or any nfs drive which is mnt or log i wanted to log vault server logs into this particular folder yes you can just create a file vault audit dot log file and just pump the logs as simple as that now file audit device which nothing but you can store it locally or anywhere into the file system second what if if i read one secret and that is a retrieved that secret will be hashed into the hmac and stores into this log file so nobody will be able to decode it uh, unhash it right so and format is json and json x as well so json itself in the form of a xml so its format is json now third one is you can prefix to this log file etc so these are the all are the configurations yeah that's it about the file second file point of view commands now it's a simple command vault audit enable and type equal to file file path where you wanted to log i wanted to log in this location or enable vault audit enable and path equal to this is a path and file equal to type equal to file file path equal to file path so you can just specify the various paths along with the file path and vault this enable and disable vault audit enable same like a vault secrets enable something like that and file path point of view you can specify discord or std out so standard output discord so if you are testing then this discord will be used so these all these commands are available in the official documentation need not to note down or screenshot now vault point of view see for this file file audit point of view whenever you try to execute this command sometimes we may get an error so why the error is we will see in the demo first of all how the vault run let's try to understand so whenever you install vault it will run as a one of the linux user called a vault user how to prove that you go to the vault server do the ps aux hyphen grepher vault and you see vault configuration file is this one etc vault d vault.hcl right we have seen but this is runs as a vault user not as a root user so that means this particular folder should have a access to vault user otherwise this command is going to fail that we will see in the demo right but this is a point note down now syslog audit device syslog currently as per the documentation no syslog configurations are supported i don't know but only local agent only supported means whatever the vault server you install and supported only for the unix system not by the standby vault instances that's what the documentation is saying and commands are same vault audit enable syslog vault audit enable file same like that and you can just give the some tag facility equal to what kind of the facility you wanted to use and and syslog maybe you may be wondering how the syslogs will looks like this is just a format this image is taken from the cisco official website so this is just a simple how the syslog looks like if somebody knew right 
now third one is a socket so this is a world server and application and users application is doing a some app rule and users are logging with that some token and this is a socket device which is running on at 9090 i don't know this is maybe elastic search splunk or any maybe cloud watch or whatever right so socket point of view tcp udp unix sockets are supported currently and with this we can do many kind of integrations so many more integrations all the elastic search splunk and all whatever i kept in the diagram that will fall under this category now commands point of view is a simple vault audit enable socket vault audit enable file right very very simple and you see vault audit enable circuit address what is the address you wanted to pump this is address this circuit type and you want a more parameters you just go and uh, see the documentation or else go to the vault server right so here say vault oops vault audit hyphen h you will see vault audit list vault audit enable file and enable disable list as simple as that right now let's go to the now it's a demo time demo point of view these are the few steps so the first step is vault enable audit and second is vault enable to the file and just test it before that there is one important configuration so that i will show right so audit enable device issue so let's say vault audit enable file and file path equal to this one right see uh, if i go and do it here right and i will just clear that right this is the what the command and when i try to enable i am getting this error so you will also get the same error whenever you try to enable that this is the same screenshot right which is i kept here so in order to overcome what to do that basically in the vault server in this particular folder right so basically this var log which is protected by the root user but you need to create a file because here in the my previous uh, here i am trying to create a vault audit dot log right or maybe any name that this folder it should have a vault user permission that's what the cho wn we will be using right so and let's quickly go there and this is a world server say via grant ssh i will go and ssh into the world server right and let's go and uh, ssh inside right right now it is there right so now sudo uh, su right and then right then i am here so what i will try to do is i have a commands are already there so cd uh say ls iphone l say war log right yeah so this is a purely root protector folder right um say ls say command k right ls iphone l slash war right and you see a war log so this is a root protected right that's what the so now what i am doing is uh, so whatever the these commands we have just seen right uh, these are the commands i'm going to paste it here right oops i have already copied the commands right so need not to right these are the commands i just pasted here and let's go and let ls uh, ls iphone l oops right so this is the one right so already is created and this is by the vault user so if you wanted to see the completely along with all the files lsl so vault auditor log file this is a root user now i will go back to the my vault system right now see the magic successfully enabled right so this is the one important step uh, please note down otherwise you will end up with uh, this kind of uh, error so need not to be panic uh, this is what the we need to understand right now let's try the demo now i have enabled the vault audit and how do i see so vault audit list as simple as that so it's a file is already enabled now say i wanted to log in to the vault uh right by using so i will go into the world server right and i will clear that say cat war log vault audit log so instead of cat what i will do is i will tail for it 
right and this is in the form of a json so what i will do is pipe for jq right so already which is in the form of a jken right so now uh, if you go to the vault notes which i will give in the description during the authentication section right this is a my vault server i have enabled a multiple authentication type say username password also i have right gvr and 12345 vault login method right Let's see here say vault login method right now i logged in right just go there here see met mount type equal to username password and this is the response object and where is the request object this is a request object just now so auth pass login gvr and what is my password this is a password i entered so this password is a hmac short 256 right and policy default policy apply display name whatever blah 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 and what is the mount to type i did and before this particular step what is uh, the one i tried so all these the service i used right and there is a uh, token right so anything you, you use uh, then that will be logged over here right uh, say mm, i wanted to log in by using a vault right so here go here right say vault secrets list right so yeah because i logged into the this guy so it won't list right I, and i got an error so if you look it here right uh, so here i got an error i am just trying to read which is not given a permission right so and go here and vault logs right so here is a request what the request i did reading the system system mounts and what is the response i got this is the response i got so in this way you can uh, say vault audit list so it throw me an error so and you go here and the request is this guy request is response is this guy so yeah i simple as that and we i will just try to vault login and token equal to this is a my root token right which i am using since long time and when i log in back with the root token and i got a request and this is a response right so this is a read token and this is a client token is this one so everything is a hmac 256 and if you want a more detail about that so go to the world project that i wrote documentation and audit devices and under the file Uh, right so file path these are the parameters you can fix it uh, you can set it right uh, and vault audit list you can make it as a curl output string as well vault audit list detailed as well also you can use say v a u l t vault audit list hyphen detailed so which means which will give you the file path if you don't know where the vault logs are happening you just uh, do the uh, vault audit list won't give just and don't be panic and just do the hyphen h and there is a hyphen detail and if you don't know the command just simply output curl string uh, say i you copy this right say vault audit list output curl string and this will give the api command and just copy right and enter it will give the same thing and if you want in a beautiful format just do the jq and you need to install the jq this is and vault audit disable file and this is the last command so so vault sorry vault audit disable and file of course i need to disable the file now vault audit list right so it won't be there are no audit devices and go to the server and and everything is stopped so yeah that's it for this particular session point of view right and i hope this particular session is helpful and please subscribe like comment and share and let me know what you guys think thank you thank you for listening bye bye